So some people say style and comfort don't go together, but I disagree. I think you can be really comfortable and still look stylish at the same time. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about where to buy the best sweatshirts, hoodies, and sweatpants from, so you can feel your best and still look well-dressed. If your favorite brand aren't on this list, then it's either because I don't like them or I haven't tried them yet. So let me know who they are, and if I haven't tried them out yet, then I'll try and get round to trying them out. And just for reference, I'm six foot and I've got a 31 inch waist, and everything I talk about in this video, I'll leave links to in the description box below. If you like this video at any point, please do leave it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get sweaty. <laughs> that sounds a little bit rank. Let's just get into the video. So the first brand that I want to talk about is Colourful Standard. Colourful Standard offers some really great materials for a really fair price in my opinion. They actually did reach out to me over on Instagram and asked if I wanted to try any of their stuff out. So I said yes. So I asked the brand if I could try out their oversized hoodies and their sweatpants. I've heard really good things about their sweatpants, so I had to try them out. Now, the oversized hoodies for me were a bit too lightweight and a bit too oversized. Even if I size down, I think they'd be a bit too long for my personal taste. I prefer something with a bit of a crop, but their sweatpants, I absolutely loved. The fit and the quality on these is really nice. They are just a regular fitting pair of sweatpants, so nothing crazy going on here, but sometimes that's all you want. I picked these up in my regular size, a size medium, and they fit me perfectly. I I originally picked these up in the black colorway and I loved them so much that I decided to pick them up in the slow, melo slow melange, snow melange colorway as well. So yeah, I really do like these. I wear them in the house, I wear them to the gym, I wear them around town, I wear them wherever and they're really, really comfortable. So if you're looking for a regular fitting pair of cuff sweatpants, then you don't really need to look anywhere else. Next up, we've got weekday. Now weekday are very popular when it comes to casual clothing, but they can be a little bit hit or miss for me. A hit for me though are their Ken track pants. I picked these up in a size small and I wish I'd picked them up in a size medium. At the time when I bought these, I was a way size smaller and I liked a slimmer fit. So yeah, they kind of fit me better at the time, but my style now and my waist now would fit better in a size medium. They still look fine and they fit me fine, but I would have preferred something a little bit more relaxed. Anyway, these trousers make the perfect I got a dash trouser. So what do I mean by that? Well, that's an absolutely fantastic question. Thank you for asking. Well, as they're a track pant they're really comfortable so you can slob out in front of the tv in them and yeah you're going to be very comfortable but if something pops up where you need to dash out the house then these are going to look like you've put a bit of effort in and you're going to look well put together but weekday have got a load of other sweats and they've also got their standard sweatpants that cost just 26 pounds now they aren't the best quality but they are 26 pounds so you can't expect much personally i don't love the fit on these but they are very very popular they sell out almost instantly so i thought i would make mention them in this video because you might like them. There's no doubt about it though, they are very comfortable. So if you want a pair just to lie about the house in, then these might be a good option. The next brand I want to talk about are Picante or Picanti. I never remember how to pronounce it. So do let me know in the comments. Now, if you've watched my videos on low key fashion brands that you should know about, then you might have heard me talk about these guys before. Well, since that video, I've been loosely in touch with the guys who run the brand and they did reach out over on Instagram and asked if I wanted to try out any of their everyday pieces. Pieces. So I said yes. And that everyday hoodie is quite possibly the best hoodie I've ever owned. Big words, I know, but it ticks every box for me. It has a slightly crop length and a boxy fit, but not too boxy. A lot of boxy hoodies out there are just too boxy for my liking, but not this one. It fits me perfectly. The hood is a perfect size and it sits beautifully when it's not up. I'm really fussy with my hoods as well. I don't like it when they flop all around the place. And yeah, this one doesn't do that. And honestly, if I was to design the perfect hoodie for me right Right now, then I think this would be it. Just to say though, I have only had this for about a month, so it's still early days, but I've been living in it since I got it. Oh, and for sizing, I went for a size medium, and I do hope they bring this out in some other colors as well. So if you're watching this Picante or Picante, then please do bring this out in some other colors. But as well as their hoodie, I also got their everyday sweatpants, and the quality on these is fantastic as well. They're really heavyweight, and it's nice to have a pair of sweatpants without a cuff on them for a change, so it gives you a bit of a different look. I do wear these out the house because they look more like a pair of trousers rather than sweatpants. So yeah, that's great. The only downside for me with these is the sizing of them. Now I originally picked these up in the size medium and they fit me perfectly around the waist, perfectly in the leg, but they were a bit too short for my liking. So I reached out to the brand and asked if I could swap them for a size large and they sent me out a size large instead. Now the size large is too big in the waist for me as I would have expected, but the length is absolutely perfect. They do have drawstrings so you can can tighten them up 
so they don't fall down, which is always a good thing. But I do feel there's a little bit too much material in the upper part of the trouser for me. But I still love the look these give off and I still wear them a lot. And if you're an inch shorter than me, then the size mediums are going to fit you perfectly. The next brand I want to talk about is Studio Du Jour. Now I've only tried out a hoodie and a sweatshirt from the brand so far, but I'm really impressed. Some of you might know Style by Nate on YouTube and Studio Du Jour is his brand. Now me and Nathan do speak and we were chatting about his brand and he did ask if I wanted to try out any of his pieces and I said yes. Also, just to be clear, none of these brands that I'm talking about who've gifted me products have asked to be in these videos. I'm just talking about them because I wear them a lot at the moment and I really do love them. Anyway, the weight on the sweatshirts and the hoodies from Studio Du Jour are really heavyweight. They're 500 GSM and I do really like that. But the cut, the fit and the quality on these is beautiful. So Nathan, if you're watching this, I think you've done a great job, mate. But the pieces have got a relaxed and boxy fit with a slight crop in the body, just how I like them. They've got a drop shoulder and yeah, that's about it. I got these pieces in a size medium and I love the way they fit me. I know Nathan is about five foot 11, I think. I say I know and then say I think, but I'm pretty sure he's five foot 11 and he wears a size large. So it depends how you want these to fit. For me, a medium is perfect. But yeah, great stuff, still a new brand and I can't wait to see more from them. And I know this next one might be a little bit boring, but I have to mention them because they're one of my all time favorite brands and it's Acne Studios. Acne makes some of my favorite pieces and I probably own more sweatshirts from Acne Studios than any other brand. So I had to feature them on this list. My most recent pickup from the brand was this blue sweatshirt or purple, some of you say. It looks purple on camera, but it's pretty much blue in real life. But yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen this quite a lot. And if you aren't following me over on Instagram, then I suppose you can go and follow me over there if you want. But I don't want to beg you to do it. Please go and follow my Instagram page. Anyway, acne sweaters always have an interesting cut. So yeah, I do really love them. They also offer a load of sweatpants, a load of track pants, and I do like their Jersey Tech sweatpants. I think they're called, but I don't love the price of them. £300 for a pair of sweatpants, it is a lot and more than I'm willing to spend at the moment. But if you're an absolute baller or you don't care about your money, then go ahead. Also the sweatshirt I'm wearing now, I get a lot of questions about this and it's from the brand Vabs. They don't have a huge range of products right now, but I do really love the brand and I'd highly recommend them. They were another brand that I talked about in my low key fashion brands that you need to check out. And this sweatshirt is one of my most worn sweatshirts. I picked it up in a size medium. It's got a crop in the body, which I love, as you probably know by now. And yeah, it fits me great. If you want something a little bit more relaxed and a bit bigger, then obviously size up. But as well as sweatshirts, they do hoodies, t-shirts, and even coffee. So if you haven't checked them out yet, then check them out. So next, I'm going to do like a quick fire round of brands that I don't currently own anything from, but I've either owned pieces from them in the past, or I'd like to own something from them in the future. And the first brand that I hope to own something from soon is Needles. I do love a lot of their pieces, and I love their track pants, and I do really want a pair in my wardrobe soon. They are more expensive. I think they're about 170 to 200 pounds, so quite a lot of money, but the details on them make them look really stylish in my opinion, and I love them. And the next brand is Represent. Now, I owned a lot of stuff from Represent about eight or nine years ago when I was wearing long line tees and distressed jeans, but yeah, I haven't owned anything from them since. But I still follow the brand, I still see their pieces in store, and I think they do some great sweats. So if you like that kind of street style look, then definitely check them out. The next brand we've got is Ronning. Now I've tried out several pieces from Ronning in the past and I currently own their cargo trousers and the quality is fantastic. And they've got some lovely looking hoodies, some lovely looking sweatpants. I haven't tried them out yet, but if the quality is anything like the other stuff I've tried from the brand, then it's gonna be solid. And the next brand is Lady White. Now Lady White are a little bit more difficult to get hold of here in the UK, but Mr. Porter stocked them, but they make some lovely looking basics. They make them in a more sustainable way, which is what I always like to see. But although their pieces are very basic, they're very simple, I still think they give off a fashion forward look and I really like the style of their clothing. I think when a brand can make basic items really stand out, then I think they're doing a great job and Lady White are doing exactly this. Also, Daniel Simmons sweats look great in my opinion. I haven't tried them out for myself yet, but seeing the brands that Daniel normally goes for, I've got no doubt that these are going to be solid. Okay, so hopefully that's enough to stop you sweating over where to buy the best sweats now. No? <laughs> okay. But if you like this video, please do leave it a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. See you later.